often I be, like when people are looking to lose weight, often the problem is that they're eating too much calories, right? And what we'd often say to people is, you know, you need to cut back on calories. But sometimes people out there, they're so busy at work, maybe they're so busy at home, different things, they forget to eat, they're just they're consumed by how busy they are. And then other times they're, they're constantly working around the laptop, they don't think about eating too, too much food or they can't get away from the desk or they're busy with the kids and all these kind of things. So it's just as important that we get in the right amount of calories to lose, to lose fat or stay in shape as it is to reduce them. Because what will happen is if your calories are too low, the body has to make up that difference somewhere. It doesn't want to be in a deficit. So it makes up that difference somehow by ideally going into your fat stores. But if they're very low, the body can go into your protein or your muscle stores just as quick and you end up sacrificing that lean muscle, which means your metabolism drops. So one thing I do um, every day is I'd have a smoothie with me. And the purpose of this is to give you calories that you can, and it's easier to drink your calories than it is to eat, and you don't feel as full after drinking them. So you can drink them over the course of half an hour and get in your calories constantly that way. So it doesn't feel like you're loading up if that's the, 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 the reason why you, you feel you can't get enough calories in because you just don't feel hungry. This will allow you to drink it and get your calories in, but it's, it's good, it's healthy, it's good nutrients, There's, it's fruit and it's organic yogurt and things like that. So, this could be taken as a snack or a, a meal and that's that's what it's based on for myself as well is that sometimes I don't just have time to be sitting down eating food all day so I bring this with me and it allows me to drink those calories instead okay so we're going to make it and we're going to be zooming up and down so again just let me know if we're coming through all right again thumbs up good stuff okay so first step we use unsweetened almond milk very low in calories very low in saturated fat and you won't taste it when all the other things are mixed in and we just we're just used to it but i know i i use it in tea the odd time i have tea so we're going to make one shake so we're going to put in about 300 calories 300 uh, milliliters i should say so in 300 milliliters there's only 39 calories inside that so again it's very low per 100 mils there's only what's the math 13 calories is it 13 calories per 100 mils so that's really low then we're going to take one kind of medium banana. So if we look at the weight of that banana, it was about, what should we say, the way it worked out when we Google it, it was about 137 calories, right? So we're going to break that up. So this is, this is the exact same kind of smoothie I'd make every day. Now, the only difference is we'd bulk make this. So we'd put in five, 600 milliliters of milk to make two or three days worth, and it will stay for two or three days. So that's a banana. So what I put in here is um, a heaped tablespoon of Glenisk organic yogurt, okay? So again, organic sugar cane, they're naturally occurring sugars. So that's what we're trying to go for as much as possible. So try and avoid kind of too much sugar that has, or too much yogurt that has added sugar in it. So I'm just gonna scrape all of that out. And I go for the blueberry option to give it some taste but you can go plain as well if you don't want the, the added blueberries so then what i put in is a heaped teaspoon of to show you the, the peanut butter we use so this is Aldi's brand so the foodie market that comes in to, to Aldi there but you can also get the Meridian um, organic peanut butter as well so we use a heaped teaspoon of that which is works out at 26 grams and that works out at, what did we say, 167 calories, just that little bit. So we're just going to drop that in. <clears throat> now, the reason, now some people say, oh, geez, I don't eat peanut butter. That's fine. Um, you know, it, it doesn't have to be peanut butter. It can be another type of nut butter. It can be, um, like if you see some of the previous videos, we use ground um, flaxseed. So you can get ground um, nuts, ground almonds, ground or whatever and pour in that and you don't even taste that you, you you won't even taste the peanut butter either now this is a crunchy one so you will have that kind of bit of a bite in the smoothie as well that's just the way i like it you can get the smooth ones as i said you barely taste it with all the other stuff we're putting in um so that's the peanut butter gone in and then we have our cup of mixed berries so these are frozen berries again you just get, get them in your, your local shop a cup of frozen berries and that works out about 72 calories now You might need to let these thaw out the night before if you find that your blender won't uh, chop them up. So we're going to give it a lash and hopefully it'll uh, blend them. Normally, we'd, if, if we thought we were, we're going to be using that amount, we just let the whole lot um, 
go together. So this is going to get loud for a minute. We're just going to see can the blender handle all this frozen fruit. So three, two, one. Doing the damage. Okay, you could probably chop it a bit more. I just want to don't want to be delaying you by keep going with that. So that's your smoothie. Get your little shaker or whatever you want to put it into. Now, as I said, the fruit isn't fully chopped, but I just kind of want to give you an idea. So, that's your smoothie done. That's not even the lid. Where's the lid? So like I said, we'd probably do a couple of days worth, you know, an extra bit of the, the, the fruit and that kind of thing and just plan it all out. So you can make it thicker or lighter. You can put in maybe a bit less fruit. You can add in more milk if you wanted to, to kind of thin it out a bit. You know, put in half a banana. But to give you an idea, right, between all of the ingredients we just put in, so, 39 calories for the almond milk, 137 for the banana on its own, the yogurt is about 68, the peanut butter is 167, and the cup of mixed berries is 72. So in total, for that shake there is about 484 calories just for that shake. So if you were to use this as a snack, you might take half in the morning, drink the other half in the afternoon. But for me, I would take the full thing as a meal almost. I'd have my breakfast, then I might have this, Maybe on lunchtime, then I'd have another meal kind of in the afternoon and then dinner and things like that. So this for me is a meal. John, it's nearly 500 calories. If you're somebody who's on a kind of a fat loss plan where you're aiming at even 1400 calories, like at 500 is 30% of your day, just in that, that kind of a smoothie. But again, you can reduce the calories a little bit by putting in half a cup of fruit, putting in a teaspoon of yogurt, putting in a teaspoon of peanut butter, um, put it in your milk, half the banana, you know, there's ways to reduce it. But this is a great option for people to say, oh look, I'm too busy, I, I don't know, I might get up in the morning, I might need anything then until lunchtime, which is so common since the start of the year. The people who've said, coming in in, in consultations, where they've just said, I don't eat, I get up in the morning, I don't eat, you know what, I'm not really hungry then until lunchtime. And there's loads of people like that, but this will just help you break that habit and get in enough calories that the body needs for energy and will help the fat um, burning process. The reason, just to come back, I don't think I finished that point, the reason we put in the peanut butter, if you look at the previous videos I, I talked about in terms of um, like snacks, late night snacks taken in, is there such a thing as too much fruit? If you process all of this fruit together, there's a lot of naturally occurring sugars and from the yogurt as well. All those naturally occurring sugars, what will happen is it will spike the blood stream right now, even though there might be fiber in it, there's still a lot of sugar coming in at once. So it'll spike the blood sugars and we have that insulin response. So we're adding that big heaped teaspoon of peanut butter for the protein intake, not only just to have more protein in the diet, but that protein helps balance the release of those sugars. So it's, it's crucial that you add in a protein source into this if you're making a fruit smoothie. Don't just make the smoothie with all the fruit sugars in it. You need a protein source to counteract that um, sugar spike in, in the bloodstream, okay? so. Super important, whatever that is, if it's a scoop of your protein shake, whether it's powdered nuts that you can get in the shop, whether it's a, a, a different type of nut butter, whatever the case may be, you need a protein source in here to balance those sugars so it won't have that spiking effect, okay? So look, I hope this makes sense, just to kind of give you an idea of if you're not eating, that you can drink more calories.